Hey everyone, would you mind doing me a favor and following me on Instagram? This is my handle and I would appreciate it if you'd give me a follow up there. Sometimes I post just random deals, um, sometimes I post coupon matchups. It's all savings related and it's like mini stuff that ends up in my videos. So if you're interested in following me there, please do so. Also, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It would help my channel out greatly and I would appreciate it a lot. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, I thought I had hit the jackpot. I found about 12 boxes of the crackers. Um, I wasn't paying attention to the expiration. I was just so psyched because I had planned to come here the night before. I scouted yesterday. I had my list of stores to go to. I started with this one because I found the confetti cake cookies on that end cap and I was like, well, if they missed those, they'll probably miss the crackers too. And they did, but I brought them to check out and she scanned a couple of them and then was like, I can't sell these to you, they're expired. So please beware, they're starting to pay more attention these days. Um, and you can do everything right. You can plan the night before, you can do your homework, you can do everything right as a penny shopper, but the only thing they can deny you is if it's expired. So it was a big letdown for me. Two days expired. I mean, whatever. I, it, it's not a big deal. But do you know the amount of things I bought there expired that were full price and they never batted an eye? It's when it's a penny. They're going to look at for any excuse to not sell it. So even if it's a day expired, maybe it even expires today. They might just decide, hey, I don't want to sell it to you. And they can do that. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. Um, it really is a kick in the gut when this happens. And it's been happening to me more and more lately. So just be aware of that. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some. There's always other DGs. And it'll be fine. And you know what you can do? If they deny you, just go back after close and dig them out the dumpster as long as you are allowed in your state and there's not a keep out posted sign and as long as the dumpster is not locked or fenced in and locked. So I hope these tips help you guys. <laughs> I don't know why I cut off on you guys, but anyway, um, <laughs> I found some fix it -it also and it was just in the clearance area and I was doing my clearance scouting. So that video will be coming soon also. This is when I found the confetti cake cookies, and you can see those writs at the very bottom. It's that same store. So that's why I was like, holy crap, I might be able to get these things. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it's all right if sometimes you don't get the pennies. It's okay. Like, it happens to all of us at some point. If someone says that they've never been denied a penny item, I'm going to assume you haven't been penny shopping that long. Um, there's always going to be a time where someone's going to check and make sure if they can sell it and that's okay too I just don't want people thinking that penny shopping is like you can walk into DG and just like walk out with a basket full of stuff and it's easy you know what I mean like there's a whole lot of ins and outs and things that you need to know before you start doing it and there's always things to learn and grow from as you're still doing it I've been doing it for about two years now I do not know everything about it god I probably know like 10 percent of penny shopping but I'm learning every day, and I think the more you go out, and you're in these stores, and you get to know your managers, and you get to know the employees, those are the connections you need to make. You need to make friends with the store clerks. Like, that's just the whole thing, because had I known this lady this morning that was checking me out, she might have been like, oh, that's barely expired. Go ahead. You could take them, honey. Because that's happened to me before, too. It just depends on, do you know the cashier? Do you not know the cashier? Um, look, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, it is what it is. Just wanted to share this with you guys in case you have ever had the same thing happen to you. And to kind of prepare you for this maybe happening with your Pop-Tarts bites and your crackers. Because I know... I bought the Pop-Tarts Bites at the last clearance event, and they were expired. So, I just want to prepare y'all, because it's not always sunshine and roses when you are penny shopping. Alright guys, I will talk to you later. Love y'all. Bye.